Okay, so part two of the story is going to be leaving Netflix at the end of the month. So I decided to, and, and so because of that, I decided to watch this duology. This is The Souvenir, um, both of which were directed by jo Joanna Hogg and were uh, released in theaters by A24. But today we're looking at just uh, The Souvenir. Um, yeah, I, I do think this is a pretty so a, a pretty good movie. I wouldn't give this anything higher than a 7, but um, there's a lot of stuff about it I did enjoy. For one, I thought the performances were really good. Honor Swinton Brine was just great. Like, I really enjoyed her, um, her acting. Same thing with Tom Burke and Tilda Swinton. Basically, like, just so much of this cast, it was really good. Um, the shots were nice. And I do like some of the music that they decided to place. But I don't know. I just feel like this movie is, like, an hour longer than it needs to be. Like, this movie was two hours long, but when I was watching it, I just couldn't help but feel like this was, like, three hours or something. Because there are some moments where I do feel like the movie takes too long to kind of... There are some scenes that the movie just lets... Holds on for, like, too long. I, I don't know. It, it's probably just a me thing. But... Um, everything else was pretty good. I liked how they kind of showed, like, how some of the movies were being made. Usually I'm not too big on, like, seeing, like... Or... Usually I'm not too big on like movies about movies being made sometimes it can feel pretentious and some and li like that but the souvenir it, it doesn't it actually uses it pretty well but yeah there's just not much else to say about the souvenir i mean i liked it but i'm really interested to see what part two is going to offer because usually that's where we get to see, like, more of, like, characters' growth. And since we're, like, well-established with them. 